Back today, Central Georgia law enforcement announced what they call a huge win. Several agencies working together to net dozens of arrests through a collaboration that called Operation Shockwave. The U.S. Attorney's Office says a two-day sting led to the arrest of 46 violent criminals and the seizure of firearms and drugs. Avery Braxton attended that announcement and later got reaction from residents. He joins us live in studio. Frank Laurie, dozens of alleged criminals ended up behind bars in the sting last week, but some folks in Bibb County felt it may have been less of a win for law enforcement and more a reflection of what's happening in the community. Law enforcement from a number of Central Georgia agencies arrested dozens of people last week in a joint agency effort called Operation Shockwave, a sting resulting in 46 arrests and seizure of weapons and drugs. It sends a message that we're united, uh, the, the Department of Community Supervision, all the federal agencies, state and local, we are united and we're ready to come and get you. And if you're involved in violent criminal activities, we're going to come and get you. It was a coordinated attempt to protect Macon Bibb County, but not everyone felt it was necessarily a win. I think when you stay in this community, man, it doesn't make you feel safer. Anthony Johnson owns an auto shop off of Hazel Street in Macon. He says the sting may be more a reflection of the recent problems in Macon Bibb County. People have seen these kids grow up, turn into young men, but the community has not done anything for them. So they turn to the streets to do other things, to make money, to to create a financial income for their family. And so when you blame them, blame yourself. Johnson's nephew, Tory had a friend arrested in the sting. He says things being shut down like the old Macon Mall and even the short closure of the library led to arrests like last week. You gotta look at the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the community as a whole, cause like, you know, they're taking away most of the good stuff that we used to do. And for many young guys like himself, you just have to try and get out. So you can't turn around. You just got to keep walking forward. No matter, the, no matter the, the decisions you make, you got to live through it. Now, Bibb County Sheriff David Davis says this is not the last joint sting that we could see this year. Frank Glory, some very mixed emotions. Thank you very much, Avery. Now, that sting was a part of the Department of Justice's Project Safe Neighborhoods initiative.